Hey everyone, welcome to today's lesson on the MRI of the abdomen. In this lesson, we will look at some important anatomy on coronal scans. Let's get started. On this first coronal slice, we can see the subcutaneous fat as we begin to see a shadow of the rib cage emerge. Moving posteriorly through the body, we again can see portions of the ribs. Towards the center of the image, the rectus abdominis muscle is demonstrated just underneath the subcutaneous fat. On the corners of the rib cage, the dark circular areas are portions of the air-filled colon. On this slice, we begin to move into the abdominal cavity. The dark area through the center of the image is the transverse colon with the hepatic flexure visible near the liver and splenic flexure visible on the opposite side. The rectus abdominis muscle again is visible, this time more inferior but still just under the subcutaneous fat. Continuing posterior, towards the top of the image you can see dark areas where the lungs are filled with air. Just inferior to the lungs is the diaphragm with the liver located just inferior. Again, portions of the colon that are visible include the transverse colon, the hepatic flexure, and the splenic flexure. We can also see a small portion of the ascending colon, just inferior to the liver. Here again, we can see the ascending colon, a bit of the transverse colon, the splenic flexure, and now a portion of the air-filled descending colon. In the liver, some of the hepatic ducts are visible as bright areas and a small portion of the gallbladder is located towards the inferior portion of the liver. At this slice, we can see the air-filled lungs again, with a portion of the left ventricle of the heart. The stomach is visible and fluid within appears bright due to this being a T2-weighted image. A small structure on this image is the pancreas, which is located right in the center just underneath the liver. You can see a faint white line indicating the pancreatic duct. Also on this image, the terminal ileum is demonstrated. This structure connects with the cecum of the large intestine. The vermiform appendix is demonstrated inferiorly. This slice also shows a portion of the vascular system to include the descending aorta and bifurcation to the common iliac arteries. While demonstrated better on an MRCP, you can see a small portion of the common hepatic duct emerging from the liver, along with the head of the pancreas. Small bowel structures visible here include the jejunum and the ileum. On this slice, the stomach continues to be visible with a rounded fundus portion better demonstrated. Now we begin to see the kidneys emerge, just superior to the psoas muscles and inferior to the liver. Continuing posteriorly, a very small structure is the left adrenal gland located superior to the kidney. This appears like a little triangle on top of the kidney. The right renal pelvis can be seen and appears bright due to the T2 weighting of the image. Near the kidneys, just to the right and left of the spine, are two gray straight lines, which are known as the crusts of the diaphragm. We can also see a small portion of the spleen start to emerge. Continuing posteriorly, a more complete view of the spleen is now visible. The bright area at midline of the spine is CSF contained within the spinal canal. More details of the kidneys are demonstrated here, including the cortex, or outer covering of the kidney, and the renal pyramids, the more inner portion of the kidneys. On the right side, the triangle-shaped adrenal gland can be seen superior to the kidney. As the slices continue posteriorly, the structures of the abdomen begin to reduce in size, and the erector spinae muscles begin to emerge. A portion of the spinal cord in the thoracic area along with the CSF is now visible. Continuing posterior, a small portion of the lungs and small portion of the liver and spleen are still recognizable. On the final slice, we can see the erector spinae muscle group again and no longer see any abdominal organs. Therefore, all structures for this exam have been covered. Thanks for watching. This has been an overview of coronal abdominal anatomy on an MRI.